YouTube! Welcome to the ban list! The save all ban lists! We're here live on Twitch. Thank you so much for tuning in if you watch this live. We're gonna take a look at these hits. The ban list to save all ban lists. It's been quite a year for Yu-Gi-Oh! In a way that was positive, but also... Not so positive. This is the ban list to save it for some people out here. A lot of things need to happen for this one to be a doozy. Let's begin. Alright. We're gonna scroll one card at a time here. Armageddon Knight to three. As expected, probably. That's on the uh, bingo sheet. I'm gonna open that really quick, actually. I'm gonna open the bingo sheet really quickly. We're doing live bingo as well, if you're wondering. We're, do we're doing the bingo sheet. Uh, expected unlimit. We knew that. Something like this was gonna happen. So we got a bingo. Oh, well, that's not how it works. It's not a bingo. Okay. Armageddon Knight to three. Sure. Naturally, you expect uh, it went to two last list. Why not come to three this list? Next card. Rose Dragon. That's kind of nice, dude. Okay, pile decks, kind of like that, you know, there's not really good tens to make any- Well, I mean, you still got Baron- uh, <laughs> Not Baron. Uh, you still have uh, Chen Ying, you still have Dispater, I think. Wait, does he need a dark non-tuner? It's a dark anyway, it should be good. Okay, that's actually such a cool hit, dude. Uh, return, actually. Uh, it's not gonna do too much, but I think it's still really cool. Uh, yeah, Kieran, this was expected, of course. Um, so, lots of unlimits here. Things that chest where the music is cut out from the video. Uh, the uh, the unlimited of Kirin is, you know, sure, I guess. All right, let's get into the juicy stuff. All right, plush fire. We got that one on the board here. Plush fire or summon source. We knew that was gonna happen, of course, because plush fire was recently, I think, this morning, put on the database with its errata text. So naturally, um, come back to the game, but also to three. That means we're gonna get electromite pop plush fire. Ancient Fairy Dragon to three, that's whatever. I suppose the difference between zero and one is bigger than one and three. Ding Dong is kind of in the same category. Weird, Ding Dong came back, it didn't do anything. Um, didn't do anything last time, it's probably not gonna do anything at three. I'm pretty sure there's not much difference between what, zero, uh, one and three Ding Dong. Yes! <laughs> I see him. The worst card on the Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list is now up to three. The, the literal worst card on the list. So, Time Seal is a card. If you don't know, it says skip the draw phase of your opponent's next turn. So you would think like going first, you can just activate this during your opponent's turn and they skip their draw phase. Well, no, because when you start your opponent's turn, they immediately go to the draw phase. So it technically, <laughs> best case it technically, best case scenario, stops turn four's draw phase. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. All right, Labyrinth Hand Control, gonna be best deck. Yep, this is also expected. Dragon Rulers, we've got this on... D did we put Dragon Rulers up here, actually? That's a Dragon Link buff. I'll take that. That's technically a Dragon Link buff in some ways. You know, if you want to play Rulers, you got them to two now, I suppose. All right. Uh, I feel like all of them are, are gonna be put to two. Yep, there it is. How? Why? Well, because they're dragons. And you link with dragons. Therefore, Dragon Link buff. Think about it. Yeah, think about it. Ooh, does Time Seal count as a DM staple? Nah, it's not a staple. It's a DM card, but it's not a staple. Uh, Tempest to two. Tempest! Dragon Rulers! All right, if anyone recalls that Team Sam ban list, then you know what I'm talking about. Why two? Just put them to three. They're at three in Master. They didn't do anything. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, there was a guy who asked for Lunalite Tiger. Well, it's not three, but you got two. There was literally a dude complaining about this earlier. Hey, there it is, dude. Lunalite Tiger. All right, we got Lunalite Tiger to two here. Losses to two. This is a big list. I'm clicking, I'm scrolling. This thing is large. Thunder Dragon Colossus is obviously not that different from one and two uh, as zero and one. But the thing is, maybe you can like spam a bunch of Thunder Monsters and then make a rank eight with them. Like sometimes people were doing that as an example because you only need to achieve the summoning condition once of using a Thunder effect from your hand. So I don't know. That's people, what the, that's what they used to do back in the day. Ib to two, that's kind of whatever. Also kind of in the same category as most things yet. Uh, we're getting to the juicy stuff in a second, dude. Holy, limited. Ava to one. Oh, boy, a Drytron buff. I think New Age Drytron isn't even using this because of the, um, uh, the new guy locks you into, like, machines. So it, it, it basically is Herald, so this thing doesn't really do much anyway. I don't think you're going to see Drytron pl even playing this. Are you telling me that Beatrice is banned? Because you're bringing back Ava. Are you telling me that Beatrice is banned? Yep, Snake Eye consistency hits. We knew that was going to happen. Of course, Snake Eye, Ash to one, probably alongside Wanted. Now, I got to give you guys some context here. 
Snake Eye Ash to one isn't really that different when Rage of the Abyss drops and we have Azamina as a deck. Uh, we're gonna have to see. Need, we're gonna need a lot more hits to really destroy Snake Eye if uh, this is all there is, you know? Papa to one, same thing. Same kind of idea here. We just need to ban Barfa, dude. Just ban Barfa, and that's good. Uh, please ban Flamberge Dragon, please. Like, one and one is still... This is not going to be its own deck, most likely, anymore, but it will 100% be staple in Azamina. So you, you got to ban something alongside this, okay? Sinful Spoils or Flamberge or both. Oh, Gimmick Puppet hit. Okay, cool. Does this kill the FTK? Because I think you needed two copies for this, didn't you? Um, I think the deck is still good, quote-unquote. It just doesn't FTK anymore. Yes, it does. No more FTK? Okay. Uh, hopefully. I mean, listen. That's actually a good hit, because if you hit all the best decks, the fourth, fifth best decks suddenly become playable. So I think we take that. Um, Gimmick Puppet could be the seventh best deck of the format, so we'll put that there. All right. <laughs> Come on. Oh, damn. Wow, Dark Strings as well. Limited. All right, sure. Woo! Um... <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Bozos! <laughs> oh, I kind of feel bad for them in some way, man. Their deck was also like, bro, this was... this. this we're just hitting this again. Seventh best deck takes a hit. Oh my god. Um, now, admittedly, that is just a big consistency hit. The power technically doesn't decrease. You still can do the combo. You still can do the puppet stuff. Uh, you're just gonna maybe be doing it less often, so hopefully something else is hit alongside Branded. That would be kind of nice. Gates to one. Okay, wow, they did actually limit this. I'm glad that the, that Gates is being hit to one instead of banning Yama or Shervara. At least that's some kind of consistency hit, but you need a little bit more to hit you, Bell. Um, sorry, Sacred Beast players. I know all three of you right now are really sad that you can't summon Hamon and Senor Ravioli or whatever his name is, but... Make way for the Ubel overlords, all right? It, um, it, it's rough, but you just got to accept that this is a good thing. Hey, Prosp. Okay, so 10 pie hit. Technically, 10 pie hit. That's good. Um, you know, that, like oh, getting OTK'd through half damage is a little bit, like, frustrating, but it is what it is. Uh, and I think, like, in general, especially after the reprint, people have been saying, like, Pot of Prosperity is literally just, like pick any card out of your deck. It's super powerful. It's super broken. Um, one will take one. It is what it is. Oh, do we have ads? Uh, do we wait for ads? Um, nah, you can just watch the highlight on YouTube. All right, let's keep going. Yes! Side gun, somebody to one. Let's go! God, dude, we're almost there. We just need Kit Coloss to come back, and we're gonna be in a really good spot with the format, dude. Mmm, Sangan Summon at a 1. This is the most toxic card, okay? Consistency is great, that's nice, but Sangan Summoning making all of your cards unaffected for the turn is disgusting, okay? That's a very awful mechanic. Um, for the same reason, nobody liked playing against Dino with Misk. No one likes playing against Ten Tenpai because they shift to you, and they also, like, are just uninteractable. Uninteractive Yu-Gi-Oh is the worst type of Yu-Gi-Oh. Glad to see this one getting hit. Ah! Dude, someone knew something. Someone knew something. D Bro, that's that's insane. That's uh, that is legitimately concerning. Okay, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we did a search of grass on TCG player and someone purchased from me like where is it last week uh oh my god these are all today everyone is buying grasses wait wait where's last week's come on come on go back here look 29th of august someone purchased 12 copies of grass at 34 dollars that's a big investment that's a big investment did someone know something did someone know something yay Skill to one. Woo! let's go uh, that counts as broken card coming back, okay? No matter what, how you want to describe it, that is a broken card. Where's... Did I... Did I is this, uh, broken card comes back. Grass is now at one. And we also have Skill Drain. There's a lot of good hits here, dude. A lot of good stuff. I'll take it. Skill Drain should be banned, but we'll go for one. That's that's okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Next up, Newly Forbidden. Oh, that's good. 
Oh, that's so good! Nice! Mmm, that's huge! Oh my god. Um, it's like not enough, but let's get rid of burn win condition. Having a win condition to just kind of like, you know, thinking. Checks graveyard. How many cards in hand? Oh, okay. Checks graveyard. Checks extra deck. Okay, anyway, Lacrima effect? That's cringe. That's good. That shouldn't, that shouldn't happen. So I'm glad that's gone just for that. We're getting into the bands now, by the way. This is it. All right, huge ones incoming here. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the four horsemen of the apocalypse. They're gone, dude. Apollo's a band. Savage dragon, dead. Bar on the floor, dead. Apollosa dead. Next, you know what you need to do, Konami. You know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. Ban Mascarena. The four horsemen of the generic end board needs to die. Let's get Mascarena next. Let's get Mascarena next. <laughs> Woo! Calamity ban. Huge. That's good. Um, not like the super most relevant card, uh, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, we'll take. Uh, we'll take Calamity. That's fine. Okay. What's next? <laughs> it's not the problem. <laughs> My tier seven deck, dude. No. <laughs> What am I supposed to end on in BA now? A wind blast? <laughs> Just ban closed. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, just errata it. Make it that you can't use it on the turn if you hard summon it, like the summoning condition of um the, with discarding a burning abyss. This is. Oh, you, there's so many ways we could have bargained for this one, man. I am ill. I'm so sick. Where's Barfa? Where's Flam Barfa? Hello? That's not enough. That's not enough. That's... Mm. Where's... Where's Closed Moon? No! Snake Eye is gonna be... Azamina is, is insane still, right? Ah, oh. We're getting tier zero Azamina. You heard it here first. Okay, kind of decent. At least it's three months of Snake Eye Respite. So we'll take that. Um... <laughs> You know, uh, I accept. Uh, overall, I'm very upsetty. I am very spaghetti. There's a lot to love about this. There's a lot to enjoy. But there's a lot I'm sad about, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe.